welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Pierre Andriani, Design Studio Solutions Specialist for Autodesk. Today we're going to transition our preferences from Alias 2023, which I would call Alias Classic, so Alias 2023 or lower, onto Alias 2024 or higher. So the big change happened from the version 23 to 24, and we need to migrate our preferences if you haven't done so already. Okay, so here I'm in Alias 2023.1.1, 20, the last version of Alias Classic, and I have my default shells, and I also have my marking menus, my three buttons. So I'm gonna go ahead and export those preferences. So under preferences, I'm gonna say user preference, export preference set, and I'm gonna save it somewhere where I can find it quickly. So on my download, I'm gonna call that 2023 PPA user press and hit save. So now it stores all my preferences from Alias Classic. Okay. So now I'm in, in the new Alias. So this one is 2025 and it's a complete factory reset. So I don't have anything uh, at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and say Windows. I'm gonna look at my, works, my um, workspace bar and I have a guest profile here, but I don't have any preferences. So under here, I'm gonna say, User preference, I'm gonna say, uh, save this new profile. I'm just gonna save it as a temporary profile. So temp and say, okay. Now, if you look at the uh, temp profile, there's only one default workspace and there are no windows anywhere. There's no palettes, there's no shelves and there are no workspaces. So now if I toggle back to my uh, user pref, if I toggle back to the guest profile and say no, now the guest profile does provide me with, you know, the palette on the left and control panel, some control panel shelves. And I do have different workspaces now. So if I look at, um, you have a sub D workspace, a visualize workspace, a markup. So instead of starting from there, you know, bottom zero, absolute nothing at the bottom or on the sides, it's nice to have a, a workspace to build on instead of having absolutely nothing basically. Now this will be my new uh, user prefs. So preferences, I'm gonna say user prefs, save as a new profile and say 2025 PPA prefs and say okay. Now to make sure I visually differentiate, let's go ahead and uh, use a reference, make that some uh, new colors, so dark blue. And I'm just going to go ahead and add my information windows here. So windows, information window, middle click and drag this. So I have a little information window here and I'm going to go ahead and middle click and hold and dock the palette at the bottom. Increase my preview size a little bit. And okay, that's good. So let's go ahead and save that again. Preferences, user press, and I'm going to say save profile. But at this point, I still don't have any palettes and I don't have my shelves. So now what do I do? I go under preferences, user press, and I say import and merge and click on the option box. And under the option box, I'm gonna say, let's not disturb the workspace because I like how it is. And let's not disturb the color because uh, I like the blue for 2025 and hit go. I'm going to say, do I want to save? I say, no, that's okay. And I'm going to go under the downloads where I have my old press and I can say, open that. Now, once I open that, it's going to load up. It's everything has been imported correctly. Dismiss that. So now if you go under your windows shells, default shells, and now you can see the default shells have my uh, old shells from 2023 classic. They're exactly the same. And now let's check on my marking menus. And my menus I've also imported. And now I can go ahead and use your preferences and hit uh, save this profile. So that's how you go from Alias Classic to the new Alias. Thank you for watching and catch you next time.